check one check one right <laughs> today everybody today thousand mcq day 21 <clears throat> that means we have finished five papers mcqs uh, done uh, discussion done done dusted everything is done uh, everything is done so today we are starting our sixth paper today we are starting our sixth paper today we are starting our sixth paper that is 2017 uh, paper mcq paper Hurry, before we start tell me groups are open is all the dios perfect uh, is all good Working well, YouTube people, YouTube people also okay. All good. All good. Harine. So today's YouTube link. Didn't I post it to the group? It's there, it's there, it's there, it's there. YouTube link is there. There, man. YouTube link is there. Hurry. Hurry. Uh, and another one more thing. One week more for our physics night. Academy. Next week, by this time, we'll be doing physics night. Starts at 8 o'clock now. 8 to next day morning, uh, 4 o'clock. So next week, by this time, we'll be doing our, we'll be at our physics night. Hurry. One week more for physics night. Mm. Right, that's the update. Mm. What about the intervals? Interval is properly planned. Don't worry. <laughs> I can I mean, the timings that you feel sleepy and all, I know no, the timings say A with the atomy. Intervals are planned. Okay. Interval is there. Small, small intervals are there. Hurry. Me, physics night. Don't eat a lot and sit time. Now, 8 o'clock. Some, some of you like, uh, you'll take your dinner by 7 o'clock. Full dinner. What do you want? <laughs> eat something that is, you know, that is required to the body, you eat as the dinner that day. Otherwise, once when you eat the dinner, you will feel asleep in the eat what is required. Have some coffee or something nearby you. Coffee, hurry, natang, plain tea, hurry, something nearby you. So that day, right? on that day, stay hydrated. And let me physics night is now 12th night, no? 12th night, 8 p.m. No? So by about afternoon, take a nap. You can't uh, drag a night without sleeping. So, best is by about afternoon, no? in the evening hours, take a good good sleep for about 4 to 5 hours. 4 to 5 hours of a sleep. In the evening, you take. So, night time, we can balance it. Don't try to stay like, uh, 12th morning also, I will stay fully awake. I will do all the work at home. Night also, you can't stay. Then you will get doped. When, when you can, Take about four hours swaggy, ragina me sleep and schedule that and keep. Hurry. Right. That's how you prepare. Hurry. Now for that, that doesn't mean now from today onwards. Every day in the morning hours, I'll sleep a little bit. <laughs> on the day before the night seminar, on that day you sleep on. Now work. Now work the fullest. Now work the fullest. Hurry. Hurry. Right. 2017 paper. Today's pay, today's the first 10 questions are now la mai, nothing no la mai. When you start doing papers, now first 10 questions in a paper, nothing no la mai. Ekani kangmi. Anni varen you can screw no. First 10 questions of a paper. First 10 questions of a paper. Now almost five, of, almost eh, now six papers, almost six papers vage done no. With these six papers no. So all the first 10 questions are like nothing no la mai. Ado juju pi nai la mai. In the mean. That 10 question, only warring, try to score your maximum. In that 10 question, don't waste time unnecessarily to arrive. Careless mistake. The mistakes that you can leave in first 10 questions is careless mistakes. Try maximum to avoid that careless mistake. Because once in you get the paper, first 10 MCQ, sometimes you are in a panic situation. A little bit of a panic situation. That, that usually happens. A little panic situation might arise. So, first 10 question, even though it is easier, eh, some questions that you know, carelessly you mark it wrong. You pass it, once when you go home, you take the paper and say, oh, what a series, six question, I know, no. 
I have marked it wrong. Haven't you felt like that after doing a paper? You go home, you check the paper, and then you know the answer. You know the answer exactly, even without referring any textbook or anything, even without talking to your friend or anyone. You yourself will realize this is the answer. Now, what I have done? Hema venilamai for first ten MCQs. For first ten MCQ, not hard. Careless mistakes is the mistake that most of us will do. In that, try maximum to avoid it. Focus and do it. Don't allow your brain to think of unnecessary things. What will happen after the results come? What is going to happen to the next ten questions? Don't go to think of them. Live in the world. Live in that moment. Do that ten MCQ. Hurry, hurry. So first ten. Uh, in this lamai, what I wanted to discuss actually everything most of you are done properly. That's good. What I personally wanted to discuss a bit deeper is this one sixth question. Which of the following oxide is basic? And the other question, the tenth question. The tenth question, uh, again, if you know the theory, you can answer it. Nothing big. If you know the theory, you can answer that. So those are the two can be considered as a little tough question. Other than that, all the other questions are very simple, direct theory. These can be considered as little tough. Tough navy, little tough. Hurry. Sixth question. First, I'll discuss sixth question. Which of the following oxide is basic? Ah, uh, acidity basicity, acidity basicity of oxides. Right. Do so joint now again. Listen, we are doing 2017 O level paper, MCQ number six. Ah, eh? 2017 O level MCQ six. I am going to discuss which of the following oxide is basic. Right. Acidity basicity of oxide. Listen very carefully. Keep all the other work aside. Now listen very carefully. Huh? Very, very carefully. Very, very carefully. Right. Keep all the other things aside. I'll start from the periodic table. Hurry. Periodic table. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon. Potassium, calcium, right? Twenty elements are there. Periodic table. Hmm. Some of uh, some of you are wondering what is it? This periodic table. Huh? It's the basics in chemistry. Periodic table. Hurry. Right. In the periodic table, now I the vertical columns are called as groups. That you all know, no? Vertical columns are called as groups. Vertical columns are groups. Each group has a number. Group numbers are given in Roman numerals. This is group 1, Roman 1. This is group 2, Roman 2. Group 3, Roman 3. Group 4, group 5, group 6, group 7, group 8. 8 group is also called as 0th group. So 8 groups are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That one you all know. Hurry, next. Uh, why is my train going down? Write it on top. Those are groups. Next. Horizontal rows are called as periods. That also you all know. Horizontal rows are periods. So if you look at this, first period, second period, third period, four pe fourth period. Four periods are there. They are given period number. Period number is written in Hindu Arabic numeral. Hindu Arabic numeral can this one. Period 1, period 2, period 3, period 4. Hindu Arabic numeral. Group numbers are written in Roman numerals. Eight groups are there. Period numbers are written in Hindu Arabic numerals. Four periods are there in first 20 element periodic table. Hurry. That one you all know. Hurry. Now listen, now listen, now listen very, 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 very carefully. Just for fun, I draw a staircase. Lithium, beryllium down, aluminium down. Ehema, I draw a staircase. Just for fun. How did I draw the staircase? Lithium, beryllium down. Boron down, silicon down. Again, lithium beryllium down. Boron down, silicon down. Again, lithium beryllium. You start from lithium beryllium. Lithium beryllium down, boron down. Ehema, I draw a staircase. Right. Whatever the elements below the staircase are going to be metals. Marathine. Whatever the elements below the staircase are what? Metals. Then tell me the metals, lithium, beryllium, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, potassium, calcium are metals. Don't memorize them separately. 
You all know the periodic table. No? Quickly draw the periodic table. Draw the staircase. Lithium, beryllium down, aluminium down. Staircase under that. Whatever they are under the staircase are metals. Then, whatever that are outside the staircase. Whatever they are outside the staircase. This section, non-metals. Makes sense, no? These are non-metals. Under the staircase, metals. Out of the staircase, non-metals. Under the staircase, metals. Out of the staircase, non-metals. Here we have a small problem. See, boron is on the staircase, no? Silicon is on the staircase, no? Can you see they are sitting on the staircase? People who are sitting on the staircase are called as metalloids. Again, repeat with me. People who are sitting on the staircase are called as metalloids. Then boron, silicon are metalloids. Boron and silicon are metalloids. Boron and silicon are metalloids. Boron and silicon are metalloids. And is a, what are metalloids? Very simple. Metalloids show both the features of metals and non-metals. Metalloids show both the features of metal and non-metal. Both the features are shown. Metalloids. What are the metalloids? Boron and silicon. Why? They are on the stack. They are sitting on the stack. They are sitting on the stack. Hurry. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is out of the stack. It's non-metal. Huh? Hydrogen is out of the staircase, non-metal. We can consider it as non-metal in our syllabus. But actually, look at a real periodic table now. Dimitri Mendeleev didn't introduce this periodic table now. Who is Dimitri Mendeleev? Who is Dimitri Mendeleev? Hmm. Who is Dimitri Mendeleev? Who is Dimitri Mendeleev? Huh? My father is there now. My father's father is there. No? That father's brother is there. No? In that brother's science book, periodic table was introduced by Dimitri Mendeleev. That was stated. So who is Dimitri Mendeleev? Is the person who introduced Dimitri. Uh, Dimitri he is the person who introduced modern periodic table. He only made the modern periodic table. So in the real periodic table that Dimitri Mendeleev made, and go to Google, type and see. Not now, later you type and see. Go to Google, later type and see. Uh, periodic table. In that, is hydrogen placed in the first group? Tell me. In that, is hydrogen placed in first group? Nani. Nani. Hydrogen is placed separate. Right? If you look at the real periodic table, hydrogen is placed separately. It's not even there in the first group. Hydrogen is a different chemistry. You can talk about hydrogen's chemistry separately, differently. It's a different chemistry. So even though we study it under the first group, actually it shows different properties. You can't deal it together with other elements. You need to talk about hydrogen separately. Because actually speaking, hydrogen can be a metal as well as a non-metal. It can gain electron. Why? It has only one electron. It can gain electron as well as it can liberate electron. So both can be done by hydrogen, depending on the situation. In the way, we talk about hydrogen separate. We talk about hydrogen separate. That doesn't mean it's a metalloid. No, it's not a metalloid. We talk about hydrogen separate. But in all of us, we consider hydrogen as a non-metal. Why? It is above the staircase. It has a non-metal. You can consider it like that. Right. Again, you draw the staircase. Whatever the elements below the staircase are metals. Whatever the elements out of the staircase are non-metals. Whoever sitting on the staircase are metalloids. Again, put it to the mind. You draw the staircase. Silicon beryllium down. Sorry. Lithium beryllium down. Aluminium down. Whoever under the staircase are metals. Whoever away from the staircase are non-metal. Whoever sitting on the staircase are metalloids. Hurry. Right. One more step ahead. One more step ahead. One more step ahead. Oxides of metals. Again, look at the words I'm using. Oxides of metals. See, I'll write it. Oxides of metals. Oxides of metals. Metals, oxide. Oxides of metals are basic. Oxides of metals show basic properties. Basic like properties. That means... Now, what is this oxides of metals means? Magnesium is a metal. Oxide of magnesium. Magnesium oxide. Basic. Sodium is a metal. Oxide of sodium. Sodium oxide. Basic. Potassium is a metal. 
ऑक्साइड ऑफ पोटासियम ऑक्साइड ऑफ पोटासियम पोटासियम ऑक्साइड बेसिक कैल्सियम इज अ मेटल ऑक्साइड ऑफ कैल्सियम कैल्सियम ऑक्साइड बेसिक ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ मेटल्स आर बेसिक अगेन रिपीट विद मी ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ मेटल्स आर बेसिक अगेन रिपीट विद मी ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ मेटल्स आर बेसिक देन थिंक एंड टेल मी ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ नॉन मेटल्स ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ नॉन मेटल्स ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ नॉन मेटल्स शुड बी व्हाट थिंक जनरल डोंट थिंक लाइक साइंस नो नी का नॉर्मली जनरली थिंक एंड टेल ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ मेटल्स आर बेसिक नंग ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ नॉन मेटल्स शुड बी व्हाट ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ नॉन मेटल्स शुड बी व्हाट मारुई ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ नॉन मेटल्स आर एसिडिक ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ नॉन मेटल्स आर एसिडिक दे शो एसिडिक प्रॉपर्टीज दे शो एसिडिक प्रॉपर्टीज करेक्ट नो लमाई टेल मी अ बेस दैट यू नो व्हेन आई टेल बेस व्हाट इज द बेस दैट कम्स इन व्हाट आर द बेसेस दैट कम्स इनटू योर माइंड फर्स्ट टेल मी सम बेसेस दैट यू नो tell me some bases that you know strong bases okay strong bases okay tell me strong bases okay tell me ah uh, ah uh, strong bases sodium hydroxide is a strong base ah uh, potassium hydroxide is a strong base now listen see sodium hydroxide can you see sodium is a metal can you see potassium is a metal Ah, then sodium potassium metals they show a little bit of basic property. Then oxides of sodium oxides of potassium shows basic property. You put it in water that is sodium hydroxide. You put it in water that is potassium hydroxide. Hurry, hurry. So remember, oxides of metals are basic. Oxides of non-metals are acidic. For example, see HCl. Like HCl gan dekho, HCl. Hydrogen has joined with chlorine. Hydrogen has joined with chlorine. Can you see chlorine? Chlorine from where? Chlorine from non-metal. Ah, uh, it's acidic. That's why HCl is acidic. It's acidic. That's why HCl is acidic. Chlorine is there. Is it having any metals there? Any? Hydrogen should be there because in an acid H plus ion should be released. So hydrogen should be there. It's joined with a non-metal. So non-metal show. Acidic property, metal show basic property. Don't go to memorize. You can get it logically. Sodium hydroxide, sodium, metal, metals oxides are basic. HCl, Cl, mm, chlorine, chlorine is a non-metal. Oxides of non-metals are acidic. Hurry, hurry. But here we have a small problem. Here we have a small problem with aluminium. Actually speaking. Whoever near the staircase are always problematic. Huh? Whoever near the staircase on staircase, sorry, under the staircase, sorry, ah, uh, those people, they are always problematic. Ah, uh, what's the problem with aluminium? Aluminium oxide, aluminium oxide, Al two O three, aluminium oxide. It shows both acidic and basic properties. Aluminium oxide Al two O three shows both acidic and basic property. Therefore, you give a special name to that. What's the special name? Amphoteric. What's the special name? Amphoteric. So, aluminium oxide is a amphoteric oxide. Amphoteric can be shows both acidic and basic property. Hurry again from beginning. I draw the periodic table. Lithium beryllium down. Aluminium down. Ah, uh, that way I do a staircase. Whoever under the staircase are metals. Whoever uh, away from the staircase are non-metals. Whoever on the staircase are metalloids. Oxides of metals are basic. Oxides of non-metals are acidic. Aluminium oxide is amphoteric. Aluminium oxide is amphoteric. Aluminium oxide is amphoteric. Hurry, right. Then. Can you understand? See, in our periodic table, when we move from left hand side to right hand side, from left to right, that way when we move, I'll draw it on top. You can't see there. When we move from left to right, this way when we move, what is happening? This side is basic. This side now, if you look at third period, this side as basic, 
सेंट इज एम्फोट्रिक दैट साइड एसिडिक ये मने सी दिस साइड बेसिक एम्फोट्रिक एसिडिक लोगों ने बड़ी क्या बोली आप फॉलो मी हाँ दिस साइड बेसिक एम्फोट्रिक एसिडिक बेसिक एम्फोट्रिक एसिडिक एक क्या ने क्या न्यू सी बेसिसिटी इज reducing this side from left to right basicity is reducing follow me yaar basicity is reducing hai ye sodium basic magnesium basic aluminum amphoteric on the side acidic that means basicity is reducing basic basic amphoteric acidic ah basicity reducing basicity reducing from left to right basicity is reducing what is happening to acidity see basic basic amphoteric acidic 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 uh, acidity is increasing basicity decreasing acidity increasing on uh, left to right basicity decreasing acidity increasing correct now see If I take a base from sodium, sodium hydroxide, and a base from magnesium, magnesium hydroxide, you all tell me which one is more basic, which one is a strong base, magnesium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide. Which one is a strong base there? Sodium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide or magnesium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base. It's a strong base. This is a weak base. Hari ni. From left to right, basicity is decreasing. Strong base, weak base. Amphoteric. See, basicity decrease. Strong base, weak base, amphoteric. Him acidity is increasing and growing. So put that in mind. Huh? Across a period, when you move from left side to right side, what happens to basicity? Basicity decreases. What happens to acidity? Acidity increases. Basicity decreases. Acidity increases. Basicity decreases. Acidity increases. I will write it and show with an example. We will take third period itself. We will take third period itself. We'll write the oxide of sodium, oxide of magnesium. Hey, ma, we'll write the oxides and go right. Third period oxides, oxides. First, we'll write the third period: sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine. We'll write the oxides and go. Sodium oxide Na2O, magnesium oxide MgO, aluminium oxide Al2O3, silicon dioxide SiO2, P2O5. Sulfur, sulfur dioxide is there, and sulfur trioxide is also there. Both are oxides. Sulfur dioxide, sulfur trioxide, chlorine Cl2O7. These are the these are the oxides. These are the oxides. That are formed by the third period. Ah, uh, now tell me when you move from left to right. When you move from left to right, what is happening to the basicity? What is happening to the basicity? Decreasing. Or any sodium oxide is more basic, magnesium oxide is less basic. This is M forty. Basicity decrease. What is happening to acidity? What is happening to acidity? Acidity increasing. Hari ni the acid form by chlorine. They all fall in strong acid category. You know, sulfur. Sulfur forms H two SO four. These are some strong acids. Towards the end, strong acids are formed. Now phosphorus acid form by phosphorus H three PO four phosphoric acid. Is it a is it a strong acid? No, it's a weak acid. Strong acid, strong. Weak acid. Strong acid, strong acid. Weak, strong, strong. See, acidity increasing. Weak, strong, strong. Acidity increasing. So from left to right, basicity decreases. 
increase, acidity increase. This is an example. This is an example. This is an example. So remember, across a periodic table, if you go from left to right, what happens to basicity? Basicity decrease, acidity increase. Very important. Now, some of you are asking, sir. Hey, sir, you forget about you forgot about argon. No? Yeah, no, I forgot about argon. Tell me the oxide of argon. Tell me the oxide of argon. You all tell me the formula for the oxide of argon. Tell it, just tell it, you know, you JP monarchy under with him. Oxide for argon. Oxide for argon. I can't tell it simply. He might in the fighting. <laughs> Just tell it. Oh, <laughs> argon oxide. Look. Argon, argon oxide. What's the name you all gave? Argon oxide. <laughs> Nanela, my eighth group. Noble gases. Will they form any compounds? Nani. So can argon form an oxide? Nani. Then it won't show anything. So there is no oxide there. There is no oxide there. Hurry. Hurry. There is nothing called argon oxide. Hurry. Eh? Hurry. So keep that in mind. Huh? If you take the periodic table, if you take the periodic table, see, lithium beryllium down, aluminium down, you draw a staircase, whatever the elements under the staircase are metals, out of the staircase are non-metals, on the staircase are metalloids. Oxides of metals are basic, oxides of non-metals are acidic. Aluminium oxide is amphoteric. From left to right, basicity decrease, acidity increase. Write it as, uh, what shall we write? We'll write it as review, no? Review for question 6, 2017. 2017, question 6. Write it as review. Write it as review. And after that, I'll put the other page as well. First, write this. A very important short note huh? from periodic table. So to join final seminar online. Till online final seminar, this thing is not published. Huh? Uh, some short notes are coming. I'll forward it to the group.
Hari. Color change. Okay, no. Others, those are writing, take a screenshot. Those are writing, take a screenshot. Changed. Write this and keep third period oxides. So this part is in which unit? Lama third unit. Huh? This is they are in your grade 10 third unit. Structure of matter. The same thing is there. But uh, this periodic table, this is not there. This is a shortcut. This is a shortcut. Hey, there is nothing like this in the book. This is there. This is there in the book. Are they postponing GCO level to mid me? Mid May means that mid May. Mid May means they are referring actually sixth May. That is what mid May for them. I don't know in which world that is mid May. And that is mid May. If it is postponed, then it won't get postponed. Don't think of that. Starting on sixth May. Sixth May is mid May. The physics night is from 11th night to 12th. Uh, 12th. 12th is there. No? Day, the Friday is there. No? Friday night. At 8 p.m. we are starting. It goes till Saturday. Right. Hurry. Enough. Now go to the question. Sixth question. Sixth question. Sixth question. Which of the following oxide is basic? Which of the following oxide is basic? You all tell me. Tell me all the acidity, basicity and go. Tell me. Magnesium oxide, acidic, the basic. The. Magnesium oxide, acidic, the basic. The. Tell me for everyone and go. Magnesium oxide is basic. Magnesium oxide, basic. Aluminium oxide. Aluminium oxide. Al2O3, aluminium oxide. What can you tell? Perfect. Amphoteric. Amphoteric. Sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide. Acidic. Slightly acidic. Huh? Slightly nevi, this is acidic. This is acid. Slightly nevi. Silicon dioxide. SiO2. Acidic or basic? That's also acidic. That's also acidic. That's also acidic. So they're asking which oxide is basic? Magnesium oxide. Basic is magnesium oxide. Basic magnesium oxide. Hurry. Hurry. Uh, we'll finish off question 10 also and go to the other questions. Finish off question 10. Hurry. In which of the following instance does a couple of force act? Couple of force act. I have already talked to you all about couple of force. What is this couple of force means? Two forces equal in magnitude. Two forces equal in magnitude. Opposite in direction. Two forces equal in magnitude. Opposite in direction. That has two different lines of action. So two forces equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, has two different lines of action. Hurry. So if I draw and show, if I draw and show, two forces, two forces, 
equal in magnitude. If this is F, this is also F. If this is 10 Newton, that is also 10, 10 20 Newton, right? Two forces equal in magnitude. Opposite in direction that has two different lines of action. Can you see this one as a separate line of action? This one as a separate line of action. Line of action means when you extend the force line, when you extend the force line, the line that you get, when you extend the force line, the line that you get is line of action. This has a separate line of action. This has a separate line of action. Y'all tell me. When we apply such forces into an object, what will happen to the object? Tell me, this side pull, this side push. When you apply such a force, when you apply such forces, when you apply such forces, what will happen to the object? What will happen to the object? Perfect. Object will rotate. Think practically, this side down, this side up, it will rotate. Guaranteed the object will rotate. Okay. So when they ask you about couple of force, think of situations where you apply two forces and rotate something. Situations where you use two forces to rotate something. What are the examples? See, when you are opening a lid, when you are opening a lid, oh, this is a bit tighter. Right. <laughs> when you are opening a lid, see, how do you open the lid? Can you open the lid with just one finger, Lamai? Uh, can you open the lid with just one finger? No, you can only remove some dust using one finger. Remember, when you're opening a lid, you hold both your fingers, apply forces in two different directions. That's how we open a lid. So when we opening, when during when we are opening a lid, what we are applying a couple of forces. See, two forces opposite direction we are applying. Another example, opening a tap and closing a tap. See, opening and closing a tap, we apply two forces opposite direction. Can you open a tap with one finger? Can we open a tap with one finger? Can you do that? Then if you can do that, you need to quickly inform Atapattama. Hey, normal human being can't do that. With two fingers only, we can open a tap. When we are driving, what is the correct posture to hold the steering wheel? Correct posture to hold the steering wheel is both the hands on both the sides of the steering wheel. That's how we rotate the steering wheel. Hmm? Now, for style, people drive with one finger, one hand. And by the way, that's not correct way. And that's, da that's actually dangerous. You can't control the vehicle hmm? at unexpected situation. So you have to hold it with both the hands. Ah, when you're riding a bicycle, if you wanted to turn a bicycle, what you do? You apply a couple of force. So whenever when you wanted to turn, rotate something. Ah, screwdriver. If you wanted to remove a screw using screwdriver, how do you remove the screw? Using both the fingers there. Couple of force. Ready? Ready? Okay. So that's how you do that. Okay. So all the places where you apply two forces to rotate something, couple of force. Uh, in which of the following, right? In which of the following instance does a couple of force act? When a door is opened by pushing, think when you are opening a door, when you are opening a door, think, think practical. Now, these things you need to think and do huh? when you are opening a door. Do you ever open the door like this? <laughs> one hand, one hand, you can open it. One force is more than enough. Their rotation is happening, but you are not applying couple of force. You are applying one single force and you are rotating. So there are no couple. There are no couple. So first one is wrong. Second one. When a nail is unscrewed by a screwdriver, think. When you are using a screwdriver, I just now told, when you are using a screwdriver, what you do? You apply two forces, opposite direction. Two forces, opposite direction. Ready? So that is correct. That is correct. Next one. When the rope is pulled in opposite direction by two group of people in competition of pulling rope. Tell me, when you are pulling rope, yes, you apply forces. Yes, you apply forces. Opposite direction forces are applied. Is there any rotation in it? Now, during our Dutsav and all, people <coughs> do this competition. No? Tell me, 
does the two teams rotate around the rope hey, mummy have you seen something like that happening nah, nah. so there are no any couple of forces of play no any couple of forces of play they don't rotate are <laughs> When two persons are pushing a box in same direction, which is kept on a flow, when you are pushing a box, when you are pushing, there are no couple, no, it just keeps on going. It doesn't rotate. That's also wrong. So answer is answer two. When you are answering, yeah, we can introduce the game, introduce a game like that. Hari, ne? Hari, we'll do the other questions and go. Now, most of you were asking about the candy batch 1 and batch 2 thing. Is it the same thing done? Yes. Candy batch 1 and batch 2 final seminar. Same thing is done. Uh, for the batch 1, we'll put a registration. For batch 2, no registration. For batch 1, I will have a registration. Uh, I will inform you all in the group. We'll put a registration. Only registered students can uh, attend the batch 1 seminar. Same thing will be done in batch 2 also. For batch 2, no any registration. Right, the remaining people who can't get into the batch one can attend batch two. I will tell in the group when, what time registrations will be opening. At that time, get yourself registered. Only registered students can attend the batch one seminar. So two days are given. Out of that, select the day you are free. That day, when batch one, if you are attending batch one, guaranteed registrations are required. I'll tell you in the group at that time, get yourself registered. At the final moment, don't message me and ask, can I sir, a bit of seat, nah, eh, man, eh, me. you all get registered. Huh? You all get registered. Others, can attend batch two seminar. That's how candy will be happening. All the other places there is no any issues. Candy will be dividing it into two and only be doing the seminar. Hurry. That's the update about the final seminar. Hurry. <coughs> Question one. Which of the following plant is a gymnosperm? Like a gymnosperm. Gymnosperm means what? First of all, gymnosperm means what? What is this gymnosperm means? Very simple. Gymnosperm ki anni. It doesn't produce a flower, but it produces a seed. Non-flowering seed plant. What, what, what? Non-flowering seed plant is gymnosperm. What is gymnosperm? Write it and keep. This is question number one. 2017 question one review. Question one review. What is gymnosperm? Gymnosperm ki anne? Non-flowering. Flower is not there. But seed is there. Non-flowering seed plant. Non-flowering seed plant. And is there, what are the examples? Only two examples are there. No? What are the two examples? Pinus. What are the two examples? Pinus. Cycus. What are the two examples? Pinus. Cycus. Only two examples are there. Pinus. Cycus. Memorize it and keep on. Very famous repetitive type of MCQ question. Gymnosperm. Nathan they will ask non-flowering seed plant. Only two are there. Pinus. Cycus. Quickly write. Ta -ta 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 right, right, right. Work, 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 work. Hurry, eh? Hurry. So, who answer is which of the following plant is a gymnosperm, coconut, neve, pet, neve, grass, neve, and pinus? Pinus is the answer. Right. Next, what is the unit of moment of force? Now, some of you are catching this word force and you are asking, answer oh, Newton is not there. No? The answer is not there. No? Nalam, are they asking the unit of force? No. They are asking moment, moment of force. What is moment? What is moment? Moment of force. That is force. That is moment. What is moment? Question two. What is moment? Very simple. Moment is equal to force into perpendicular distance between rotational axis and line of action of force. Per for force into perpendicular distance between rotational axis and line of action of force, simply force into distance. That is moment. 
Ah, tell me the unit of momentum. Force is measured in Newton. Distance, standard unit of distance is meters. Then Newton meters. That's the unit of momentum. That's the unit of momentum. Right and keep. Unit of momentum. Remember the equation also. Moment is force into perpendicular distance. So, what's the answer? NM. NM is answer 3. NM answer 3. NM answer 3. Momentum. Momentum is different. Don't get confused. Moment is something else. Momentum is something else. Moment is different. Momentum is different. I'll give that also. Momentum. Yesterday we were discussing about momentum. What is this momentum means? What is the definition of momentum? Yesterday I told you. The difficulty to stop a moving object. Momentum. How difficult is it to stop a moving object is momentum. Yesterday we were discussing. Momentum is mass into velocity. A different equation. Moment. It, momentum. Force into distance. Momentum. Thumb, momentum. Mass into velocity. Moment. Force into distance. Momentum. Mass into velocity. Mass into velocity. Keep that in mind. Huh? Then, hurry. Hurry. Moment. Momentum. <coughs> hurry. When I was talking, when, I, when I'm talking about this moment and momentum only, something came into the mind. <laughs> uh, I'll tell that about three minutes or four minutes or again, I'll tell that. Right. Uh, <coughs> during... Uh, now, this is my 2020, last year was 2022 level batch, 2021 no level batch. That was my uh, second batch, 2021 no level batch. That's my second batch, 2021 second batch, 2022 third batch, y'all are my fourth batch, y'all are my fourth batch. During 2021, uh, at that time, my overall student counted, at that time, all the classes are online, no? Uh, online classes. So overall student count I had was only 24. By the end, 24 only. 24 were there. Akin, <clears throat> me. During the, during, about uh, three or four months before the exam. Three months, okay. Before, yeah, four months. Keeping about four months before the exam. Yeah, four months before, about four months before the exam, I did a free seminar. I did a free seminar, online free seminar. Seminar's heading was moment and momentum. That's what that's why this came into the mind. Seminar's heading was moment and momentum. A moment and momentum. About 80 students attended, including me. About 80 students attended. Uh, after the seminar, only one person wanted to join my class. Only one person wanted to continue my class. So actually, uh, that girl's father called me. Uh, sir, me, 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 I wanted to. Put my child to the class. Kela hari details chika dunna hari. Oye ka tau hari passe child join. Ah, uh, she continuously joins all online. Nola mai. Those days uh, 2021. Then all online was going. She continues join. She is the now. I start the class. When I start the class, I take about five minutes to start the class. Now for all the others to come and join. So she joins on time. On time. She she is the first person to join. Ehima hari the. If she misses the class also somehow she gets the recording. Ehima uh, very very tidily she does the work and goes very neat. Very neat work. She does and goes. Hurry. We, at the end, towards the end, I did a seminar to them also. Uh, by that time, we were able to do physical seminars. So, a small space was there. In that small space, actually only 25 students we can put in the space. About uh, 35 to 40 students came. Uh, so, when I was promoting the seminar, like now, now uh, today we posted final seminar. Oh, okay. When I posted about the seminar, final seminar, huh? final seminar, final seminar, when I posted about the seminar, the father called me. Hurry. My father called me and asked me, uh, Academy, about one day before, about one day before the final seminar, the father called me and asked, uh, Sir, me, that, that girl's father, he called me and asked, Sir, uh, tomorrow seminar is there, no? Uh, my daughter will be coming. She'll be coming physically, right? Until that, I have never met her. So she'll be coming physically for the seminar. Uh, can I know, is there any staircase in the institute that you're doing? That's what he asked. I told no, no such staircase is there. Just one, one jump and one jump. One, one, just one 
this thing is there one what you call one lift is one lift nevi me body bump that's it right no one is there a case to climb you don't need to worry uh, i just ask why what's the reason he was a retired uh, retired uh, soldier right soldier kenne he was working in army or something so i was i used to talk call him sir so sir what's the reason so he told me uh, no don't worry me a small fracture is there in the leg oh a small fracture is there eh hari then i will arrange a seat also separately and keep i him i told 8 o'clock same na she didn't come on time right 8 o'clock we we started at about 8 8:10 she couldn't come at that time he was calling me because he doesn't know the place properly so i had to direct him i gave the phone to mother uh, she only directed him so however seat was there she came and got down from the three wheeler full leg was covered in bandage she was walking on clutches two weeks for the final exam two weeks keeping about two weeks on like do the final exam you know i saw her getting down from the three wheeler full leg i think the right leg fully covered with bandage she can't keep that leg down she was limping with the clutches father directed her however thank god the seat was there when i saw her i was almost to cry because i have never seen such a person attending even my class so think for a final seminar such a person coming and attending leg goes with bandage she couldn't keep that leg down working with clutches i didn't ask anything i continue the seminar i continue the seminar uh, at that time my mother helps me a lot during seminars and all so she is she was staying outside uh, father came in talk to my mother he doesn't know my mother is my mother kela he was talking he, while he was talking he told everything the thing is she has fallen down from the staircase in the school about 3 months before that mean last 3 months she is almost bedridden now only she is starting to walk with clutches that full 3 months she attended my online class also never misses the class huh? if she misses the class she gets the online recording very tidily she works she never even thought of giving up she had enough and more reasons to give up just think one week before the final exam two weeks before the final exam full leg is with clutches she can't keep one step ahead without a father father has to come in during interval all went out father raised her a little bit nigang vata gila aya i can't sit for a long time in the same place ehima ehima lameka ehima lamek she she had enough and more reasons to give up even two weeks before the exam hari me ote give up karla next year i will do kill ehima na she wanted to somehow do this even from the father side also i saw a very good support i have never seen a father helping a daughter like that i mean more support at the from the family side also i think a good support is there uh, i asked uh, what the, the only thing that i asked was uh, no are you going to do the level exam yes sir, i am going to do him i she was like yes sir, i am going to do that's what she told during interval i was talking are you going to do hari yes sir, i am going to do him i nikang him gaming hit two weeks she did the exam 8a 1b now she is doing maths for a levels hari so remember there are people with now those kinds of problem we can never think lo ami however much we are at our good state knowledge wise she had enough and more reasons to give up that year do it again later she has enough and more problems abi she did it did it kiyanne samanya neveya not in a normal way she had enough and more reasons to tell later this is why i got this results here no she did it in the best way she can each one of you sometimes some of you might have problems more than that but do this in the best way you can now she can walk she is not walking on crutches she is doing as a her sail level but still she is not regretting for what she did also in case if she let's take for the leg she gave up kela till now now leg will be okay but she will be having that regret eh in the whatever the problems you all have now family wise parents wise every problem what is problem don't think of those problem problems will again and again come problem will never stop for human being we always have problems behind us but still do this don't give up do it in the best way you can people have done it like you all 
can do. I don't want to tell her name. In every one of you, there is a girl like that. In the work. All of you can do. All of you can do. But you don't give up. Don't give If those people can do, I can't be old. If you don't have any reasons to do the level exam, some people are like, no, I don't have a reason. Some of you have decided for A level, I will go to this place. Me, I, three years in the podium. Three years in the uh, With three S, I will go to this place, do another course. A, a, a plan karandipa. Don't plan on any courses. Plan for the best results, first of all. Using that result, you do your later career. Now, don't go to plan. Some people have planned. Three S in the podium. Three, uh, three S. Nine. Nine S ati, nine W, nine 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 S bodum. That's enough for me. From that I can do this course. Meema karla, meema karla. Mak eva decide karan depa. Do your best way. Your career path will later be decided. You do it in the best way. If you don't have any reason to do, make you can make huge reasons for this to do. Nala mai. If you don't have any reasons to do, think of your mother and father. Think of your mother. At least work for that lady. Think of her, how much of sacrifice she is doing for her. Now, some of you already are like at this age, I know. You all always problem with mother. With mother, if you don't have problem, you are useless then. Always there will be problem. Always there will be issues at home. That is a usual thing. But still, she has brought up to this level. No? This, she has given her... Full effort to bring you up to this level such that you can sit and watch a uh, class like this. No? Up to this level, she has brought you up no? with all the struggles she has. Uh, might be sometimes, they also might be wrong. Everyone will be sometimes wrong. No? My mother and father, for them also, this is the first time they are living. Don't think they have already seen a trial and come, coming and leave. This is, this is, for them also, this is the first time. They also make some mistakes. For considering that, we don't make some problems with them. They will also do mistakes. You also do mistakes. For all of us, this is the first time on earth. We have not come here with training. Don't consider those things as big issues with the family. At least for your mother. At least for her. Do this in the best way. Do this in the best way. She'll be more proud of my like. When, when you do this in the best way, for your mother, you can't my My son did this, my, my daughter did this. You can After that, she can live the life with that, that spirit. You that spirit for, at least for her, to do this in the best way you can. If you don't have any reasons. So I won't talk, talk about it because when I was teaching momentum, momentum, this came to the mind. Hurry. Third one. Third one. Third one. The organ which mainly contributes to nitrogenous excretion in human. This one everyone knows. Nitrogen excretion is done by kidney. Nitrogenous excretion is done by kidney. Hurry. Nitrogenous excretion is done by kidney. Next one. Fourth one. Which of the following substances can be mixed with sugar to make Heterogeneous mixture, right? Homogeneous mixture, heterogeneous mixture. Homo and hetero. Homo and hetero. Mixture. You have two types of mixture. Homogeneous mixture, heterogeneous mixture. Simply, what is this homo and hetero means? You take a homogeneous mixture. Everywhere you see, there will be uniform composition. Everywhere you see, color will be same. Everywhere you see, the properties will be same. Density will be same. Transparency will be same. So that composition is uniform throughout the mixture. There is no difference there. For example, you take salt solution, salt in water, salt solution, salt plus water. That is salt solution. Everywhere you see, Composition is same, no color is same, no transparency is same, no density is same. No. Such a mixture is homogeneous mixture. So everywhere color same, transparency same, density same, everything is same. Composition is uniform throughout the mixture. Homo. Then hetero means hetero means I'll start with an example now. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. 
you take a glass you take a glass put some salt put some salt and put some paper as well red dye will use for paper put some paper as well some place the salt will be more some places paper will be more can you see composition is different from place to place some places salt more some places paper more however much you mix it can you bring everywhere the uniform composition no so heterogeneous mixture doesn't have a uniform composition no uniform composition homo a uniform composition is there example salt solution sugar solution hmm? a glucose solution composition is uniform throughout the mixture heterogeneous mixture composition is not uniform hmm? salt and paper sand and sugar huh? those things composition is not uniform all the food that you make cake uh, fruit salad uh, juice all of them heterogeneous you can't expect the taste that you have at the top part of the juice at the bottom also no there will be little bit different at least there will be a slight difference composition is different sorry right two important examples here two important examples one wheat flour plus water that is also called as starch solution wheat flour plus water have you put some flour into water and seen mm, flour in water when you mix it initially you see like flour get mixed well no color is same everywhere composition is same everywhere such a feeling you will have at the beginning no? when you try to mix some flour in water initially color transparency everything will be almost same eh man when you will tell me ah sir that is homogeneous mixture na you keep it for about one day and see wheat flour will be deposited at the bottom water will be remaining on top wheat flour at bottom water on top is the color same is the transparency same is the composition same no then remember flour in water heterogeneous mixture huh? not homogeneous at the moment you mix it it seem like it is homo but it is heter no sugar solution is not like that no you make some sugar solution you keep it for one day will that uh, anything change is there any deposition happening there nah, nah. you not for one day you keep for one year you keep for thousand years will it deposits anywhere no it doesn't get deposit and color transparency everything will be same that is homo next important example mud water mud water also called as clay water now mud water you collect it in a glass bottle initially color transparency will be same then you will test that is homogeneous mixture nah. you keep it for about one day what will happen clay will be deposited at the bottom water will be on heterogeneous mixture so remember flour plus water mud plus water they are all heterogeneous are not homogeneous all the food you eat are heterogeneous uh, cake eva give me fruit salad uh, fruit juice all are heterogeneous cement mixture cement mixture cement mixture you know cement, cement the gravel is there sand is there water is that that mixture heterogeneous those are heterogeneous sorry right. keep that in mind now go to the question <laughs> which of the following substance can be mixed with water to make heterogeneous copper sulfate copper sulfate in water is homo it get dissolve well it is homo ethyl alcohol alcohol you dissolve in water it get dissolve well it's homo sugar solution sugar solution is homo wheat flour in water where the wheat flour in water is it wheat flour in water is it wheat flour in water is it next which of the following organel releases energy by aerobic respiration you all tell me which organel produces energy in our cells what is the organel that produces energy what's the organel that produces energy organel that produces energy what's the organel mitochondria mitochondria organelle that produces energy is mitochondria
Hey. I just now checked. Uh, our YouTube. Our YouTube uh, has hit 3K. Yeah? Uh, when I started today's live, it was 2.99K. Now, by now, it's 3K. It has hit 3K. Thank you for that. Huh? Because of y'all only. Uh, thank you for that. Before, when I was starting this 1000 MCQ program, it was only 2.1K. Uh, within 21 days, gone to 3K. <coughs> Question seven. Question seven. Six is done. The animal tissue given in the diagram is Lama. Anyone knows this? What is this? Epithelial tissue. It's epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue. Eight. 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 Which of the following energy transformation takes place in a bicycle dynamo? Bicycle dynamo. In a bicycle dynamo, in a bicycle dynamo, in a bicycle dynamo, what is the energy transformation taking place? We all know bicycle dynamo produces electrical energy. Electric energy. It produces electric energy. From what it produces electric energy? From kinetic energy and potential energy. Both of them together, you can call mechanical energy. You can call mechanical energy. You can call mechanical energy. I know, some of you are wondering. So, how come potential energy is coming for here? Bicycle dynamo? Potential energy give a marami. MGH ne? Nalamai? Can you remember I already taught you all? Potential energy is divided into two. Gravitational potential energy, elastic potential energy. Uh -huh. In that elastic potential energy part, you can talk a little bit deeper. Under that section, a little bit of bicycle dynamo's working principle also is connected. So, bicycle dynamo working principle is not only connected to kinetic energy, not only rotation, but also to the potential energy there. So, both of them are connected. So, both together mechanical energy. So, mechanical energy converted to electrical energy in a bicycle dynamo. In a bicycle energy. Mechanical energy to electric energy. So that is answer three. That is answer three. Answer three. Next one. Biochemical reactions that take place in organisms are right. What is the catalyst that catalyzes biochemical reactions inside our body? Enzymes. What is the catalyst that catalyzes biochemical reactions inside our body? Enzymes. Enzymes. Keep that in mind. Eh? Enzymes are catalysts that are present inside living organisms body, which catalyzes biochemical reactions. Answer is answer to enzymes. Tenth one is already done. Tenth one is already done, which means first 10 MCQs are done. 2017, first 10 MCQs are done. Jujibi on, no? I don't know. I think maybe. Hmm. Or a simple thing. Not in it. Yeah, paper is it's a pop party is making them. Can I join for both candy seminars? <laughs> if you join for one, more than enough, no, I mean, right? 
hari ini. Don't worry, you will learn about how the potential energy works in a dynamo in A level physics. You will fully study about elastic potential energy. Half k x squared, very important equation. E equal half k x squared. That equation you will fully study. Hari ne? Hari, right. No more waiting then. No more waiting. We'll go for our usual ending. Hari, then you all tell me. You all tell me. Now, nothing here, I think. think. Uh, I'll ask for periodic table. Eh, nah. Hari. Uh, what do you feel about? What do you feel about? Uh, periodic table. What do you Make it easy. I think. What do you feel about this paper? Hari, I'll ask like that. What do you feel about this paper? What do you feel about this paper? What do you feel about the paper? Ah, letter by letter. Letter by letter. Letter by letter. There you go. P. P. Next letter. Next letter. A. A. Next. Next. T. T. Next letter. Next letter. Another T. Another T. Last letter. Last letter. A. 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 Next. E. Next. A last two, last two, S last letter, Y, but easy, don't forget the hashtag, don't forget the hashtag, and the signature. Hari, finally, <coughs> one more thing. Uh, your handbands are being printed. By next week, I'll get the handbands. Handbands will be given only during the final seminar. Uh, not for sale. Handbands are not for sale. Some of you are asking, sir, where can we buy the handband? Not for sale. Not for sale. Not at all for sale. Will be given in the final seminar only. For your badge only. That, that design is only for your badge. Hurry. That's about the handband update also. Hurry now. <clears throat> Keep studying. Keep working hard. Keep working hard. We are at the final stage. Until now, you somehow came. Might be for no reason you ran up until now. Now, you all have some reason. If you don't have reasons, make some reasons why you need to study. Make something. Somehow do this. All of you can do this. Most all of you have different problems. I understand it. Each one of you, your problem is big problem. I know that. Abhi, with all those problems, the challenge is how we are going to finish it. Finish it in the best way you can. Okay. Okay then. Until then, this King Sparrow signing off.